Hello and welcome to my new video dedicated to pigment extraction. It's not for a broad audience, it's just for me some graf graphical methodology for myself to understand and to repeat these experiments. So, um, pigments is the uh, chemical compounds which uh, present in the uh, cells of the plants and algae and they have different functions such as uh, catch the light or protection of uh, DNA in the cell. Anyways, uh, they can be um, chlorophylls, xanthophylls, and this is the four, it stands for xanthophysi, it's the order of um, algae, and uh, also um, carotenoids can be in the cells and uh, different of different algae and we also have uh, fico iretrins and phycobaly proteins um, so and uh, for um, analysis on the high performance uh, liquid chromatography we need to extract compounds and what we're basically doing we have a filter and the filter is uh, 47 millimeters uh, in diameter or it can be smaller smaller it's 2.1 millimeters you grow your algae it's uh, just assume it's oscillatory so it looks like that A lot of little, little, little cells. Uh, you grow it uh, under the uh, artificial light in the tube. Here it's growing, and after you uh, put this biomass, just imagine this tube is here. This is the cultural tube, and you put your biomass. You filter in that biomass through the filter, and you you have all these like little tiny strings of the cells on the filter. You cannot see them, in fact, but you can see the green um, pellet on the f on the filter, and it's actually chlorophyll. The green pigmentation. Um, after that, you might store these filters inside the refrigerator at minus 80 Celsius uh, for pretty long time. Um, after when you're doing uh, extraction, so it's next step, extraction. Sorry. When you do doing extraction, you need to um, keep these filters on the eyes. It's very sensitive, and also you need to, to do it in the dark conditions, in some particular um, frequency on the light of the light. And what we're basically doing, we uh, grab filters with the biomass, we cut them with the scissors to small pieces, and we put them into the um, 10 microliter tube, test tube. Actually, it's conical, and uh, you put these cuts inside the um, this plastic tube. Okay, and uh, after you add um, one micro uh, milliliter of acetone, acetone. Or um, 
little tiny filter for this filter and you add two milliliters of acetone acetone so it's n to the uh, 40 40 I guess it's 21 it's not 2 point and 21 4 47 milliliters um, of acetone and you basically gonna have um, this plastic conical tube so the cap you screw it tight and you have these cuts of filter with the algae um, and and you put the acetone acetone go here and it's liquidish and you just you know you just shake it in that direction and this direction doesn't matter and it's became very like like porridge por porridge like thing after that you gonna put this thing you uh, should uh, incubate it for four hours it can be 4 to 24 hours in the condition as um, minus 4 degrees of Celsius is in the fridge fridge or at the room room temperature okay it's pretty nice um, it's pretty much it so the first thing is to grow your algae this is the first step grow your algae filter your algae and on this um, second stage you can see the actually um, pigments and you can store them it's an intermediate thing so another step step number three you're gonna cut your filter with algae in the small pieces put them into the plastic tray with acetone that's gonna be number four I mean the uh, adding the acetone and shaking gonna be five you need to shake it's important shake it and the last one is gonna be six yes six. Um, you need you need to incubate it from four to 24 hours and after you can perform uh, HPLC and right now we all know what it, what does it mean it's simply high pressure or high performance liquid chromatography um, I think it's pretty straightforward and it's good and Thanks for watching and thank you, Sergey, for doing this video. Bye.